morning everyone thought i would film just like a vlog sort of thing today i'm just getting ready for work i've got my uniform on it's not really uniform i've got a little group top on because group is the best marvel character I'm gonna get ready for work this morning and thought i would film for anyone that doesn't know i am a nail technician beautician as well as a makeup artist so i can only do nail treatments at the moment it is sad that i can't go back to doing like brows and lash lifts and makeup yet but we'll get there eventually i think i can do spray tans but i'm actually unsure i don't really know what what we kind of can't do at the moment because the guidelines aren't the best but yeah anyway i'm getting ready for work and just thought i'd pop on here and explain why i've been very quiet because i've been very quiet on here so we found out last thursday a week yesterday that we could go back to work on the monday that day i'd tidied up my beauty room that was upstairs and got it all ready actually filmed it and then we found out the announcement and then the day after the announcement my parents were like right we think it's safer if you work from downstairs instead of upstairs and it is just generally safer because you don't actually have to come into the house you're just coming straight into the beauty room which i get i understand it and to be fair it is for the best and i actually prefer it since it's been quite nice being downstairs because i'm kind of out the way so yeah i've enjoyed it so far but literally we had i think we started redecorating on saturday and then i was opening on the wednesday so i needed the beauty room to be ready for tuesday evening so that I could get all my stuff in and get ready for work the next day and it was a struggle not stop painting and just redecorating moving furniture around but we got there in the end and it is for the best it's so much nicer and then started work on Wednesday and I've just been working every day since so said today's Friday I used to work six days a week and I've put it down to five days a week now just because I realized that I work too much and I know you know it's really good to work a lot because i'm putting a lot of time and effort into my business but i don't give myself a day off so even on my day off i'm replying to messages i'm doing social media and all that sort of thing love my job so much but i have other hobbies as well so i kind of need to make time for them as well and time for myself so i give myself sundays and tuesdays off so yeah at the moment everything's just a bit mad i've barely even seen matt anyway so i am gonna finish off my skincare now literally just need to put some lip balm on gonna go and make some breakfast i have three clients in today and i have quite a big gap in between my first client and my second client so i don't want to eat too much because i'm gonna want my lunch like after my first client because she should be here for about an hour and a half she should get finished about half 11 then half an hour of cleaning so that is 12 and then that's like lunch time so i need to not have something too big so i think i'm just gonna have a protein shake i'm gonna go and make my protein shake now hello everyone so i've just finished my first client of the day and i'm about to make myself some lunch because i'm literally so hungry it is on rail i've just cleaned the beauty room all up and the bathroom as well got two more clients left so i should be finished about seven o'clock tonight once i've finished with my last client and tidied up and got myself cleaned up and that sort of thing so not too bad i'm gonna go make myself some lunch i'm honestly starving and then just get ready for my next client i don't really have anything exciting going on today the nails that i just did as well i'll pop them on screen so you can have a look at what nails i did i think we used bab 18 but you couldn't see the bab because we had gel polish over it then we had french pink from halo with dusty pink from halo the paint pot from candy coat in white so i think it's 01 and aurora from from jelly gel polish hello everyone so it looks like i haven't moved because i was standing here before but i've just had my lunch and i've just rang matt and seen how he was getting on today so yeah just done that i had a cheese toasty for my lunch probably got it all over my face matt's just messaged me and said like what time's my next client due my next client's not till two and my next client is actually his mum he was like oh what time's my mum due to get her nails done so i said oh two o'clock and he was like oh fab do you want to go to mcdonald's but i've literally just ate but i could do with some mcdonald's fries i'm not even gonna lie so i'm gonna go to mcdonald's usually i wouldn't do this but you know what i've got an hour and a half to waste having a mcdonald's like so close to your house is not a good thing at all because it's just convenient so i'm not even gonna lie i don't even like mcdonald's that much like i prefer to get a domino's or a chippy or something like that but because it's so close it's just easy but we don't even like it that is the thing we don't even like mcdonald's that much but we'll just eat it anyway because it's easy but i think everyone does that with 
fast food. It's convenient, tastes like cardboard, but it fills you up for a short amount of time, so you'll eat it. But yeah, be a nice little treat to get out of the house for five minutes because obviously I've been in all morning, so that should be quite nice. Any plans for this weekend? Probably not. I'm working again tomorrow. Should be finishing about five o'clock tomorrow. I think I start work at eight, so I'm gonna have to get up at like half six on Saturday night. Me and Matt are finally gonna do our usual Saturday night ritual. So I'd finish work on a Saturday evening and I would clean up the beauty room, go straight to his house and I'd sit and play Skyrim for hours and I've missed it so much. I haven't played on Skyrim in like a couple of weeks now just because my TV is so small so it's really really hard to like play Skyrim or play any Xbox game when your TV is so tiny so it's a bit of a nightmare. But yeah we were saying this morning that I'm really excited to play Skyrim. Anyway I'm gonna go now because someone's just come home. It literally looks like I've not moved out this room today but I have I promise. We've just got back from McDonald's it was so busy there it was unreal. I'm getting ready for my next client so this is second client of the day also we have had another announcement the, like remains of beautician so anyone in close contact like with their clients so doing makeup or facials brows that sort of thing can go back to work on the 1st of august so that's nice it's nice to know that they can all go back to work soon and yeah so it's not really that far away now i think it's about two weeks so i'll be able to do brow appointments lash lift appointments and make appointments as of the 1st of august i need to order some new lash lift stuff Anyway, I'm going to go now because my client is due in five minutes. I'm just going to get everything ready and set up. So it is now about 10 to 5. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly set everything up ready for my next client. Then I'm done for the day. I'm very excited to be done for the day today because I feel so tired right now. I just feel exhausted. Oh my god. Ugh look at the state of me right i've just took my mask off I finished work for the day i've just finished cleaning the salon and the bathroom everything is done everything's nice and clean ready for another busy day tomorrow it's really important to make sure that we are really cleaning like keeping on top of all the cleaning and i'd like to think that i've been doing a stellar job because holy hell the amount of cleaning you need to do is ridiculous like obviously wipe everything down clean everything down in between every client i just give the whole room a massive clean it's kind of just what been doing i'm gonna ring matt now because i haven't spoken to him since lunchtime it is about 20 to 7 maybe Matt could even be seven o'clock now right there it is seven minutes to seven so i'm gonna give matt a ring to see what he's up to figure out what i'm having for tea mom and dad have gone to kfc and i know i've had a mcdonald's today but do i want a kfc maybe i do and i'm gonna just chill for the rest of the evening now but obviously i'll bring you guys along with me i'm sorry if this has been really boring i feel like i've literally not done much at all but this is just like what i do in a day when i'm working literally not much apart from work i still have some work that i need to do as well just replying to some messages and that sort of thing so i'm just gonna get that over with today so basically what i've started to do is i used to be really strict with myself i'm a bit of a workaholic and i would reply to messages every single day whereas now i've decided to give myself days off so my sunday and tuesday are my days off so i've decided not to be replying to any messages so obviously because i'm off on a sunday and saturday is a really busy day like in any salon saturday is always one of your busiest days so just decided that i don't want to have to like work on my days off because like i look forward to the weekends but for me it's like you look forward to the weekends because obviously like of a sun saturday evening you're off the next day but you kind of like put so much pressure on yourself to do so much work when you're off anyway because you feel like you're not being productive whereas now i feel like i've realized that that i'm very productive anyway i get a lot done in a day i'm constantly working and i do deserve two days off a week i still i'm going to be editing videos and uploading things on instagram and that sort of thing but i'm just not going to be doing like the admin side to like replying to messages because it literally takes up your whole day it is ridiculous so like you know sometimes a back and forth with a client can be like quite a long conversation so say someone's not sure what they want or like they want to book in for an appointment like hi i'd like to book in for an appointment then you have to reply what day what time what treatment and they're like oh i'm not sure what days have you got free and it's just a lot of back and forth and you can literally be having a conversation for a full day whereas if someone just messaged you and said hi i'd like an appointment on monday around 1 p.m for this treatment and it's just a lot easier that way so i do find that messages do take me a really long time to get through i think that's just part of the job to be honest like you do have to kind of get used to it but yeah so if anyone wants to know the life of a nail technician makeup artist 
beautician. This is literally all we do. We work all the time. We might be going to see some family over the weekend, which should be nice. I am meant to be getting a blood test on Monday. Now I'm a bit nervous for this. I'm a wimp when it comes to injections, especially blood tests. Got my KFC. I think this is the fillet towel burger. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna watch some Disney Plus now and eat my burger. I've come down here because I need to do my skincare. I have had my take and I jumped in the bath, washed my hair. So my hair's just straight back at the moment. Just come down to my skincare. My skin is so red because my bath was way too hot. And you don't really get out and you feel like a bit grim. That was literally how I felt. So I'm just going in with my body shop tea tree. Skin clearing my fine toner as I do every evening. Pop that on. And then what's going on i'm gonna pop on some of this this is the tea tree anti-infections daily solution i haven't really done anything interesting at all this evening i still have loads of work to do it's quarter to 11 and i still have messages that i need to reply to and i still have some stuff that at work that i need to do on my computer as well but i'm up at 6 a.m so i might just try and do it on my break tomorrow but i feel really guilty because i haven't got back to anyone yet i just honestly do you know when you just been like preoccupied but you know that's life i'm still trying to get in the swing of working so i'm not going to beat myself up over it if i don't really get all my work done every evening but being self-employed is so difficult everyone thinks it's like a walk in the park and it's really easy but it's really not you just have so much to do and it's so hard to keep on top of everything it's quite overwhelming sometimes but you kind of i think because i'm just out of practice because obviously i've been off for so long because of covid and i'm just gonna use some bio oil just to get rid of some of these fresh acne kind of spot scars that i've got so yeah i am just slowly getting used to being back at work not to put anyone off being self-employed like because it's literally all the best thing ever but it is really stressful you need to be like quite a organized person if you're not organized you're just going to end up going absolutely mad because you just have so much to do all the time i went full-time self-employed in august and i'm still learning things now i really wish that i knew when i first started but you get used to it as i said like i think you just figure out you've only got 24 hours in a day and if you can't do everything you know you're only one person that's not really an issue you know and people don't really mind as well do you know if you don't get back to them straight away that sort of thing the main thing that i struggle with is admin that's one thing i just struggle with so much is just messages trying to find the time to do them because as i think i was saying earlier on it takes so much time out of your day to do them but everything else about the job i love just messages i'm not a huge fan of because i find them quite stressful going through comments doesn't bother me going through like even messages don't bother me it's just when you get loads all at once and you feel a bit overwhelmed and then you know like you're running behind because you you've got work to do you know it's worth it in the end because being self-employed is like the most rewarding and think ever even though i'm moaning about it i wouldn't change it for the world and i know so many other people that are self-employed and they say the same like as much as we're all like oh my god it's such hard work it's so rewarding at the same time because you know you're doing it all by yourself and it's kind of nice knowing that as much effort as you put into it you're gonna get that effort back so it's nice it's nice being self-employed plus just the fact of being your own boss is like the best thing ever i love being my own boss i don't really like people telling me what to do so for the rest of the evening i'm now going to go and tidy my room because my room is an absolute mess and i'm not going to give it like a proper tidy i'm just going to put some things away give it a quick tidy up and then i'm probably just going to do a little bit of work on my laptop watch something on netflix or disney plus and then i'm probably just going to go to bed i'm going to end the video here so if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a big thumbs up i'm hoping to do a couple more like vlog style videos because they're actually quite fun to film so yeah if you guys enjoyed it you'll have to let me know and maybe i'll do some more maybe when like life is a bit more exciting because obviously it's not very exciting at the moment it's very dull because we're all still kind of in a form of lockdown even though lockdown's like eased a lot there's still only limited things that we can do that sort of thing so hopefully when life resumes as normal it might be a bit more exciting but yeah, anyway if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in my next video bye